So attention to differences and you're linking to that. Feeling, to the feeling of self. And you, you have to feel and to notice differences. And the ability of the, the nervous system, the brain, to do that varies enormously amongst people. And most people are good at it in one area and not so great at, like you described yourself with your body. I mean, you're brilliant. You make distinctions, you know, one of the best distinctioner I know in the world personally. Mm -hmm. But, but the, the, the thing is that, but if we just generalize for a moment, the capacity of the brain, the, the, the quality, the, how good the brain is at perceiving differences is something that can increase. We can improve at it and improve at it. So for instance, older people start falling a lot, partly is because what the, the, the signals, the stimulation that comes from the feet they don't perceive differences anymore so if they ro as well. So when the road, let's say, gets uh, tilted, they fall because the brain doesn't self-correct them because they don't feel it. If we don't feel it, it does not exist. So feeling is really, for me, the basis of everything, including, by the way, intelligence, IQ, you know, all that stuff. But, and, and, and what movement with attention to what we feel in my experience, is, is the most powerful driver of improving the functioning of the brain, which right. is the basis for vitality. Yeah, that's, that's really great. So we're on the same page here. And yes. so feeling these distinctions, feeling these differences, tracking those, yes. that's absolutely one of your fundamental principles. And you're pointing out that, um, you know, what in developmental psychology is called the sensory motor level of cognition, uh, which is often kind of cast aside once you're past a year and a half old. Oh, that's for, you know, toddlers. Doesn't really matter very much. <laughs> it's actually, number one, the foundation of cognition altogether. And two, and something for grown-ups as well. Oh, so maybe that's time. a place uh, where we can, uh, maybe if you could give us kind of the quick list of your core principles. Love to. I've tracked Love one to. so far. This uh, <laughs> I've tracked two so far, actually. Kind of an inside-out awareness and also um, really attention to differences, a granularity of distinctions. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so really, my work it does a few things. But the first thing that it really does, it kind of wakes up the brain. Okay, so what's the job of the brain in my world? Is to put order in the disorder and make sense out of the nonsense, right? Because it's all there anyway, all the time, and stimulation is not what does it, because stimulation it by itself is neither here nor there. It's until we perceive differences in the stimulation that it starts having informational value. So that's kind of the, the basis. So I want people to be perceiving differences. You know, very intelligent, brilliant people do that better than people who are a little less intelligent and brilliant. But most people can be more and more good at that. So movement with attention to the feeling of the self is my first essential. So you can do it when you make your coffee. You take just a minute or two to feel when you pour the coffee, what does it feel like in your shoulder and in your hip and in your foot and in your left side of your neck. It, that, it almost doesn't matter as long as you start feeling what you feel. As you move, whatever movement you do, you do that three, five minutes a day, three times a day. You you'll find an amazing changes. You don't, have to, you don't have to understand how come it happens. You don't have to choose what to pay attention to. Just start doing it. So that's the first thing. And people find changes in areas that it's hard to even see what's the correlation, but it so happens. So let's do a concrete example. So here okay. I am. Y'all okay. use me as a guinea pig. Okay. All right, so All here right. I am. I've got a glass of water here. All right. Okay. It's a common gesture. It's so easy to not okay. notice it, to okay. tune it okay. out. What water okay. glass? Okay. So I have my so, glass so, here. So, so, so we have to slow down. That's going to be one of my essentials, okay? And I'm going to be looking at you, so my eyes are going to be going down for a little bit. So just, you're going to, I see you're doing it with your right hand. You're going to just begin lifting your hand to move it towards uh, uh, the, the glass. Okay. Just lift it. So go. what we're going to do... Is yes. take people behind the curtain here, okay, and let them see the whole mess of my home office, so they can see me. All right, roll All right. backwards. Can you roll a little further back? So I'm see. tethered by my earbuds. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good enough. Uh, that, uh, that's. All right. It's good. It's very good. It's all, right. all good. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Now so what do now, I do? So, so now, uh, uh, so, so go slow. Here's my water. Maybe, see water. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to get even to the water yet, okay? Oh, darn, I'm okay. thirsty. 
Okay. Oh, oh if you're thirsty, no, you'll get there okay. in a minute. Take your hand towards the a little bit. Just start lifting it towards the, the, the glass, okay? And bring it back, okay? And put it down. Just That's going to be the movement we're going to work with for a few seconds. And now, you're going to lift the hand again and reach forward again. And as you do that, notice what do you feel moving, okay? So do the movement again. Put the hand down. Put the hand down in, on, your, on your thigh. Lift the arm and just move it forward. And you, you, so you feel your elbow moving, right? You feel your shoulder moving. I feel okay. the whole thing. I feel my shoulder, my arm, the torso, the trunk, you know. Perfect. Okay. So now, when you move your arm forward, just first of all, find in your inner feeling your lower, your lower back. Okay. okay. Can you get yeah. it? Now, start lifting the arm and see... See if you feel anything in your lower back. Okay. D did you? Sure. Or, mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, imagine that there's these strings between your lower back and your arm. Okay? And so when you lift the arm, it actually pulls on the vertebrae so that you, you, you're not doing it. The pelvis has to roll forward mm -hmm. and bring it back. Mm -hmm. So now, and feel gradually, each time you lift your arm, I feel like catching your pants in front and rolling your pelvis forward. So, oh, yeah, I'm doing it. You can't see it because it's below no, the camera I, I, line. I can see what moves in the upper spine, so uh -huh. I can see. And now do it in the middle of the back. Uh -huh. That's right. You see, now your head has already changed how it sits on your spine. And now do it uh, the, uh, between the shoulder blades. No, All but right. don't push back with the shoulders. Let yourself move after your arm. You see, I'm doing it. Okay. Let yourself move. And now... Go very slowly and go to the glass of water like that. So you'll have to do it at the level of the water and roll the pelvis. Uh -huh. Does the arm feel any different than it felt earlier? It feels more like there's an integrative um, yeah, quality but, but that's conscious. Go, go, back, go back to lifting it the way you lifted the first time, mostly shoulder and elbow. You know, like tuck out, tuck out. Robo like rick. You know, Robo just, rick, yes. And now go fluid rick. Danielle Rick. Yeah, and you feel your voice changes. You see, the, there's a total reorganization of the system. We did it, I don't know, 60 seconds, right? Right. 